Okay, so there's a study out there. It's called the NASA Clean Air Study, and you can Google that. It's on, uh, you'll find a link on Wikipedia. It will give you some of the best performing plants on there. So I thought I'd give it a try, and to my great surprise, it works like gangbusters. I thought it might work me a little bit, but it actually really works. And I can tell that because of the air quality sensor I made a long time ago um, out of the Arduino. And I have videos on my YouTube channel about that, so you can check it out. Maybe I've spent 60 80 maybe $100 on these three plants that I bought, but they've made a huge difference in the air quality. And I'm not talking about, I just, yeah, I feel a little better. I've got some fairly scientific sensors that I'm using to determine if the air quality is better. And with these, just these three plants that I bought, things have changed kind of drastically. And I've been watching the air quality for months, trying to determine where I'm getting things like formaldehyde and other things. And I've eliminated some things, but the biggest difference I've made so far was putting these three plants in that I bought. So I'm probably going to buy a few more. Uh, NASA recommends that you have one plant per 10 square feet, 100 square feet, excuse me, of space. And my house is 1,000 square feet, so I'm going to buy, you know, seven more to fill the house so I can get really pristine air. But it really, really works, and you might want to give it a try. It's going to make a huge difference in the air quality inside your home, and it's not going to cost you a lot of money. And in fact, it's going to cost you less than an air cleaner probably would, a good air cleaner. So give it a try and uh, let me know how it works. I've uh, I made this air quality sensor quite a while ago. You can see all the dust and things on that. And uh, there's, there's videos on my YouTube channel about this so you can see it there. But here's my sensor. Okay, this is a Cornstalk Dracienda, um, which I think I got for maybe 20 bucks. The pot was like 14 to 20 bucks, something like that. So this is the second plan I purchased. This is a piece of lily. It's on the list that I will show you. So that's two. Okay, this is a variegated snake plant or mother-in-law's tongue. I think I spent 10 bucks on that plant and maybe $20 on the pot. But just those three plants made a huge difference and it is really surprising to me. I'm probably gonna add some more plants to the house. But indoor air quality is something I'm concerned with because I have bad allergies and asthma and things like that. Okay, so here's the list, and I know you can't see that very well, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to put a link in the video description. But what you want to look for is the plants that have the most green all the way across. That means they remove the most contaminants. And like I said, just with those three plants, it seems to make a big difference in air quality. And, I mean, this is a fairly scientific thing I'm doing. I'm not basing it just solely on how I feel. I'm basing it on what that air sensor over there is telling me and it's telling me the air quality is better with those three plants um, versus not having them and just those three plants make a huge difference so I would give it a try if I were you.